Hi everyone, we're continuing our uh, linear equations by identifying the graphing form and graphing information and then we're going to graph and these are linear equations. Okay, this one, the graphing form is, this is a y, point slope form. All right, your points coming from here and like we did on part one, um, we're going to get our X and our Y from here for our point. So for the X, we look at this one, and X will be 3. And for our Y, X is going to be negative 4. And again, you just set, I'll do this one here. You just set this to 0 because it means it's the distance from 0. So Y equals negative 4, and that's where I'm getting this negative 4. The slope is right in front here. That means our slope equals 2. I'm going to go ahead and put that in fraction form, which is 2 over 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is graph the point right here, which is 3, comma, negative 4. And our slope is 2. So from here we're going to, uh, from this point we just, uh, our point, we're going to go this is rise over run. We're going to go up 2 over 1. So this is like up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. You can keep going up 2 over 1. Put your big, I call it a dot, it's really a point. Up 2 over 1. And you can also let your slope be that because that also equals 2. So we could also go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and make as many as you want, and then connect the line. It's supposed to be straight, and there's your line. Okay, the next one is in um, standard form. It's the graphing form. And in that case, what we usually do is get x and y intercepts. And what I do is I, I just write my x and y here, and I put zeros here. So I want to know when x is 0, what is y, because I want to get my uh, intercepts. And I'm going to put the 0 here. So when x is 0, I'm inputting 0 for x, then... Um, 4 times 0 is just 0, so you can cross that out. Divide both sides by negative 5, and you get y equals negative 4. Now, when y is 0, this one, I'm going to write 4x minus 5 times 0 equals 20. That means this part goes away. You divide both sides by 4. The fours cancel here, and you get 5. So I'm going to uh, graph my uh, x-intercept and my y-intercept. My x-intercept is 0, uh, my y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's that point. And my y-intercept is 5, comma, 0. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you just connect the dots. And there you go. And there's your line. The next one is slope-intercept form, which is easy. I'll just write slope-intercept form. This one's nice because you always put in the calculator. All right, but our slope, therefore, is negative 2 thirds. And also, just recall, this can be written as 2 over negative 3. Both of that is negative 2 thirds. And then our y-intercept, you can write it this way, equals negative 6, or your, I prefer to write my y-intercept like this, which you'll have to do when you get to pre-calculus. All right, so you go to 0, negative 6, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, graph your, did I do that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. So this is 0, comma, negative 6, and then from this point, we're going to go down um, 
to, let me erase this, that's where I like to put it. From here, we're going to go down two, and then to the right three. As you see, we don't have any more room to go down two over three. So I'm going to use this one, because this still equals negative two-thirds. Doesn't matter where you, you know, the negatives they just put on the outside. So I'm going to, from here again, I'm going to go up two to the left three. The negative means go to the left or down. And since it's in the denominator, it means to the left. So one, two, to the left three. One, two, three. Now I can do this. I'm going to go up two to the left three. One, two, three. And do it again. Up two to the left. Actually, we got our x-intercept there. Okay. Now connect the dots. Let's see if I can make my line straighter. And there you go. There's your line. Okay, the next one is slope intercept form as well. So slope intercept form. My slope is negative one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in fraction form so I can write it that way or I can write it this way. They're both negative one. Remember that you can put a one there if you want. My y-intercept is 0, 5. Or you can write it as y-intercept equals 5. So first of all, I'm going to use my y-intercept, 0, 5. x is 0, y is 5. And then I'll go ahead and use this one first. That means go down 1 to the right 1. Down 1 to the right 1 down one to the right one. Or if I use this one, that means I'm going to go up one to the left one, up to the left, up to the left, and then connect it. And that's like a airplane descending when you have a negative slope. The negative the slope is negative. All right. Uh, here we have standard form like we did in the previous problem. I suggest you really pause the video and try to do it on your own. Um, I go ahead and do my little tic-tac table and I need my x-intercept and my y-intercept. So I'm going to plug in 0 for x first. Plug it in. That cancels. When you divide both sides by negative 6, you get y equals 2. All right, and now I'm going to do uh, plug in this one, 0 for my y. Uh, this cancels, and then I'm just going to divide both sides by 3. And when you do that, you get x equals negative uh, 4. And I plot these two points. My y-intercept is 0, 2. My x-intercept is negative 4, 1. Negative 4, 0. And then just connect the points. You have a positive slope. That means your the airplane taking off. Okay, and this one is our horizontal line form. Again, you can rewrite this as y in slope intercept form. And then that would mean your slope is 0 and your y intercept equals negative 4. Or you can write a 0, comma, negative 4. So I'm going to do, uh, uh, it, you know it's in the horizontal line form, so it's going to be horizontal line. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4. The slope is 0, so we're not going up. And you just draw a horizontal line through the y-intercept. Okay? Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.